Now we interview Adriana Yaramillo, World Bank, on the proposal made by students of uh, the new Unimed Students Exchange Network that uh, interact with the Unimed platform I'm for a better quality of education in the Mediterranean Basin by Students Exchange. We would like to know what do you think about the role of this new network that uh, can play an influence in the university policy making process? Yes, uh, thank you very much. I think it's a very, very good question and a very, uh, in my opinion, an excellent proposal. Um, I think the role of young people and I think I don't need to stress young people are asking everywhere, not only in the Arab world, but also in Europe. They're asking for changes, and young people are the future. So promoting these exchanges between students, I think, is a very good idea. Um, we need change in the way things are uh, happening now uh, between nations, uh, but also the approach to uh, the issues that are, you know, dealt with in the Mediterranean, the how to share resources, the water resources, the environment resources, um, the mobility of people, and uh, better understanding of culture and cultural differences. I think young people are really well placed to promote this um, fruitful, um, also uh, friendly and with the prospect of the future uh, exchanges. So I think it's an excellent idea to uh, promote exchanges between students, between uh, in, in young people in general. Also we have to be aware that the young generations are more used to online and using technology and you don't have to travel to meet. You can, you know, exchange through email, Facebook, uh, um, video conferencing. There's so many resources now. So I, I think it has a, a great potential to, you know, put in place this kind of platform that you're asking for. I we hope so. I congratulate you for the idea. Related to the workshop on education, quality, assurance and governance, what do you think about the structural adjustment programs by AMF imposed to developing countries to reform their debts by cutting public finance, including education? Well, the first thing is, um, you know, when you look at the overall fiscal uh, situation of a specific country, um, you need to understand where where are you going to cut from. Um, I don't think that uh, in any point in time you should say you need to cut for social services. Um, what you need to look at is where, how clever are the investments? Where are you putting this, the investments? Um, of course the the natural uh, place for public investment is on health and education. Without education, uh, really, you cannot promote economic growth. The thing is, you you know, within that, there are many things. And what the World Bank advocates is you need to link resources with results. So where are you getting the results? Um, Results in terms of uh, economic growth or results in terms of uh, human development? Results in terms of human development. That is what's important. Where, uh, uh, for example, if a given uh, system is not performing well, measured by learning outcomes, for example, then you need to ask the question, what is happening? Why are you putting resources and you're not getting the results? in terms of learning outcomes. Uh, you're not getting the results in terms of relevance of the education system with what society is needing, with what the labor markets are needing. Uh, in, in the health system as well, if you're putting resources but really people are not getting the services of the quality needed, then you need to ask questions inside that. The other issue, and another question that goes uh, hand in hand with that, is public resources need to be in priority given to people from lower income status. So if, for example, you look at in the education sector, if public resources are being allocated for people from the highest income levels, 
and then you're not giving opportunities from people from the lowest income levels, then you need to think about how are you allocating public funds. And you need to make sure that public funds are prioritized for lower income people. So it's, it's not uh, true that in a given case the bank will say cut social services, never. But be smart in how you spend and make sure that you link funding to performance. What do you think about the role of university between human development and the market request? Yes, I think that university is, uh, or universities have a key role in promoting democratic societies, first of all. Um, they are very well positioned to be a model of good governance, to be a model of democratic governance. Um, in addition, of course, of the role they can play in uh, developing knowledge, creating knowledge, disseminating knowledge, sharing knowledge. And all of this, uh, at the end, it translates into social and economic development in a given nation. Uh, one thing that is critical now for universities is to be more aware of their environment. You know, be aware of their community, whether it is their town, the region, um, their nation, and to be able to respond to the issues that the, the region, the country, the city is facing. And to involve um, all stakeholders from society, uh, not just the academics or the researchers, but also uh, the people who are in public service, the people who are developing industry, the people that are involved in agriculture. I mean, it depends on, on where you are, where, where the university is located. But that's, it's, a, it's a mandate that universities need to uh, take very seriously now to because they have the potential to really transform their environments. I think um, you know a hundred years ago universities had the luxury if you like to just look within and, and, and to uh, do pure research if you like. Today universities need to look outside, need to be engaged with their communities to be able to really respond to the needs of today's world. Have you a message that you want to recommend to Mediterranean students for give them a good wish? Well, yes, I can give uh, a few messages. One, uh, you people that live around the Mediterranean are very lucky. Uh, this is one of the most uh, fantastic places in the world. You're really very, uh, you have a good uh, opportunity because you have the history, the culture, uh, the beauty of the place, the resources, and of course uh, the people. You know, you together combine, you have so much talent and, and so much potential for making changes, real changes. So I, my message is of hope, my message is of courage, um, and uh, you know, learn from the young people in Tunisia and Egypt, and, and follow their example. Thank you so much.